Hi everyone, welcome to Chair Yoga and today's session is relaxing your back. Before we begin, make sure that you have a chair with the back, no arms if possible and make sure that your feet can connect to the ground and if you don't or you can't reach the floor, please get a book or a big dictionary and uh, or some yoga blocks if you have those. You can wear anything just as long as you're comfortable. Okay, let's begin. Position yourself in the middle of your chair. So we're not sinking right back into the chair. We're standing up nice and tall in our chair, sitting up nice and tall in our chair. And feeling the crown of the head being lifted up with an imaginary skirt. As we lift and lengthen, we're also feeling our sitting bones and our feet connected into the floor. Let's place one hand down and one hand up and just notice how that feels. We can breathe in through the nose and we can breathe out through the mouth. releasing any tension that we might be feeling in our physical body and also in our emotional heart, emotional mind, anything that may be upsetting or worrying. very slowly when you're ready switch your hand so turning one over as the other one meets your leg continue your breathing and in eastern healing modalities we view our back as of course our support but also different areas of the back hold different emotional responses and memories. So normally we would look to the back to release uh, emotional tension as well as physical tension. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just noticing how you are feeling sitting on your chair today. And slowly move your hands down next to you. And we'll sweep them up the sides, right up towards the ceiling, gazing up to our fingers and reaching up with the right hand and then reaching up a little more with the left hand Turn the palms out, exhale, all the way down with the arms. Let's do it again, big breath in. And stretch with one arm. So as we lengthen that side, our sitting bone on that side presses down. So we're getting a long lengthening happening here on one side. Then lift the other arm up, turn the palms out, exhale. One more big breath in, reach and reach, turn the palms out. And this time the breath lifts the arms. We press the palms together and we draw everything into our heart center. Draw the head down to the fingertips and take the next breath into your heart. And breathe out. We'll place our hands on our knees or on our thighs, wherever you can reach. And we'll move through our cat-cow position. Moving forward, opening the chest, breathing, and breathing out as we curl under. Inhale and exhale. And how it looks from the side. Flexing and releasing. Breathing in. Breathing out, curling 
and releasing. When you come up, you're right on top of the sitting bones, lifting the heart up. And as you curl under, we're rolling our lower back towards the chair or our tailbone towards the chair. We're rounding through the spine, the shoulders and the chin moves into the floor. And feel free to hover in each position for a couple of breaths. Breathing deeply into the back. If there's a stretch there, you're absolutely doing it correctly. And then we'll go the other way. Feel the front body, the chest filling up and as you exhale, softening through the shoulders, holding and breathing. It's important to keep those feet on the ground and also keeping the breath flowing. Let's do one more holding in each position. Absolutely do what feels comfortable. It should be a nice, comfortable stretch. If it isn't, just back out of it a little bit. Breathing into all the tight areas that are feeling stretched right now. And then moving into your cow position, the chest moves forward. We're right on top of the sitting bones. Our chin is lifted just a little way. One more breath, feel the heart open. We're moving forward and release. We'll open out one knee into our warrior two position. One knee is pointing forward, the other knee out to the side, or maybe your knee looks like it might be on a diagonal. That's perfect as well. Just move to where you feel your body can move today. Both feet still connected to the ground and make sure that you feel very supported, that you're not tipping on one side of the chair. Move yourself right into the center. We're taking one hand behind the head and the other hand back of the palm, your lower back. Now, if this doesn't feel comfortable for you at all, feel free to cross the arms over your chest. We take a breath in and we breathe out, pull the elbows back, opening up the chest a little more and inhale, and then breathe out, move towards that outstretched knee, keeping the chest open towards the ceiling, breathing in, coming back. Breathing out, squeezing into the waist, squeezing into this waist area. Feet are very much stable. Inhale, come up. We're going to move with our breath for five more. One. Two, three, move slower if you need. Four, last one, and we'll hold that five. Squeeze into the waist. If your neck allows, gaze up to the ceiling. If not, you can look down to the floor or look straight ahead. Pull those elbows back. Take another breath and release come all the way back release the arms roll the shoulders a couple of times we're going to move straight into our warrior one position so because we've got one knee out to the side anyway we're going to turn our whole body to face that side of the room and take the other foot back so you can have a flexed foot or a pointed toe whatever feels best for you we're also making sure that we're uh, directing our knee straight down to the floor. And again, you're shuffling yourself, your weight on the chair. You can hold on to the chair if you need some support. And allow yourself to uh, connect with that, the ground underneath your feet. Okay, so we're taking our arms into a prayer position with the elbows open today. Curling under, we're just dropping ourselves forward. I want us to breathe into the upper back. And when we breathe out, we're gently opening the chest up towards the ceiling. Breathing in and breathing out. And I particularly love this one because we are required to 
use our core muscles when our core muscles are working and getting strong it means that other parts of our body can relax and just be supported by those core stable muscles in the lower body breathing in coming forward and breathing out coming up now feel free to stay in whatever position and breathe a couple of breaths, softening into the shape. And then you can allow your body to come forward and move. Coming up to center and all the way back to the middle. Keep the knees nice and wide and open and allow yourself to Rest into those knees, drop your shoulders and leaning forward. Holding here and breathing. <sighs> Beautiful. One more breath. Bringing the knees to touch. We'll take our other knee out to the side or as far as you can, adjust yourself on your chair, making sure that you are stable, feet are connected. The back of the body needs to feel safe and supported. So it is important that you just take a little bit of time to make sure that you are completely rested and square on the chair. Okay. All right, so we'll take the other hand behind the head now and take a breath in, pull the elbows back and exhale down to the side. And I want you to really focus on squeezing into the waist, not so much opening the side, just more squeezing into the waist. A nice little squeeze as you pull those elbows back, gaze up towards the ceiling, go nice and slowly here, breathing in, coming back, take your time, breathing out, connect your feet, all four corners of them on the floor down if your neck doesn't like looking up and another nice slow one continue slow or you can move through five more one squeeze into that waist two three four last one and we'll hold and we'll gently open the chest to the ceiling, pull that top elbow back. Feel your sitting bones on the chair and your feet on the ground and release, come all the way back. Relax your arms. Breathe in, do a little shoulder shrug if you need. <sighs> Moving now into our warrior one. Take your time to set yourself up. Our back needs to feel safe yeah, that the ground isn't going to sweep out from underneath us so go super slow knee underneath your hip or as best as you can adjust on the chair so you're stable bring your hands together elbows open we're inhaling here exhale come on down let's breathe into the back of the body and breathing out lifting up Inhaling and exhaling. And notice your weight is it shifting between the front foot and the back foot. See if you can have both feet pressing into the floor evenly. And whenever you feel like that, you can hold a position and take a few breaths here, relaxing into the shape. And then moving into the counter position and breathing life into the muscles of being stretched and activated. And when you're ready, come on back, move yourself back to the center, feet and knees still wide, hands on the knees or the thighs, 
leaning forward. Maybe this time you can take it a little further, maybe the elbows. But it doesn't matter if you can't get down to those elbows. The hands are great. Soft upper back and shoulders. And here we gently pull the chin down towards the throat so the back of the neck is stretching. And right up underneath the skull, the occipital area, where we hold a lot of tension up underneath here. We lift our chin and we hold this tightness. Let's gently open it out. Get some beautiful uh, uh, circulation happening here. And then we'll do some spinal rolls. So adjust your body. So your feet are hip distance apart. And of course you can adjust your legs and feet to um, suit your body. We're doing some spinal rolls and we're gonna go nice and slowly. So what it looks like from the side is head comes down or chin into the throat first, then Roll the shoulders forward and you're curling. Imagine your spine curling vertebrae by vertebrae or section by section. And you're going to come down. Of course, you can use your hands to help you. And you're coming down as far as you can without toppling. So have your feet flat and your belly active. And you're going to come down as far as you can. Take a couple of breaths wherever you land. It might be up here. And then roll up exactly the same way as you went down. Good. The last thing to bring up. Okay, so we'll do it two more times together. The slower, the better. So breathe in. Head, neck. Shoulders, upper back, mid back, lower back. Maybe you can feel it into the sacrum, that bony plate in your lower back. Breathe in, breathe out, head it soft. Shake, yes, yes. Oh no. Rolling up, engage the belly. Push the sitting bones into your chair. Slowly stacking each bit by each bit. Take a breath when you're up here, maybe your shoulder roll on the side. Ah, and we'll go down for one more. So notice you may be skipping an area or one area might just feel really tired or painful. Feel free to stop there, wherever it is, and take a couple of breaths here. and Just kind of say hello to that part of you that's saying, hi, I'm really tight and I need some attention. So hold and, and give it some attention. Take your breath to that area. Fill it up, breathe it out, soften, and then continue. Maybe the next spot, the next spot, and the next spot. Take your time to stop and breathe into those sore, tight areas. And when you get down towards the floor, you can feel free if it feels okay to nod your head. Yes, and then gentle shake, no. Engage the lower body as you slowly roll back up. And again, just checking in with any areas that you missed. And then we'll come up. And I want you to completely just lean back, slouch into your chair in rest pose. Well done. And we're just going to relax here for a moment. Taking some nice big deep breaths in, relaxing the belly, the back, and holding, holding still. Wow. 
wobbly. Okay, so coming up into our tall position again, feet flat on the floor. And we're not going to uh, completely get off the chair, but it's a feeling of we're about to. So about to sit up. And it could be just those sitting bones lift. You might be able to feel your bones slightly lift, but your, your fleshy bits of your uh, back of your legs and your bottom doesn't lift. But it feels like we're going to. So we press our hand, uh, our, sorry, our feet into the floor and we're about to sit up. And then we come back and breathe out. About to sit up and breathe in, come back down. And just go at your own pace. And notice if one side is leading, we want to try and make both sides work at the same time. Are you tensing in your shoulders? We want to relax all of that chin soft in towards the throat. Make sure you're breathing nice and slowly. You can do it slowly, you can do it a little bit quicker. Do what feels right for you. Maybe two more. Remember, we're not getting all the way up, we're just attempting. Even without tension in the upper body. Let's do one more. And slump back. Woo, good job. You can give your arms a little swing and relax here. Palms up, palms down, one up, one down. It doesn't matter as long as you are relaxed and closed eyes and pick a point on the floor and soften into inner awareness. Floating your attention around your body. How am I feeling now after doing a few movements to release tension and emotional holding in the back? How does it feel now? And we'll take a breath and we'll slowly lead with the head, spinal roll up to a seated, seated position. Okay, sitting nice and tall. And look, there's gonna be varying abilities with this one, but I want you to do what feels okay for you. So again, you're positioning your bottom in the center uh, section of your chair. You are quite welcome to hold onto the chair for more support as we push our heel away. So we're trying to straighten our leg here and we're pulling the toes, all, all five of them, back towards the face. Now, even the little toe side of your foot, I want you to peel it back so your ankle is flexed evenly. And point the toe and flex the toe. We're always lifting through the chest. Inhale, point the toe. Exhale, flex the toes. And keep going at your own pace. It can be slow or fast, but really make sure that the little toe is pulling back just as much as the big toe. Now in Chinese medicine, we're looking at meridians, energy lines through the body. And by flexing in this way, we're ac accessing the bladder channel. And when we talk about the bladder channel, I'm not talking about your organ of your bladder that sits in your um, body talking about the bladder line that runs from the little toe right up the back of the leg through and up either side of the back over the top of the head to the middle of the eyes or the inside corners of the eyes and we're accessing a hamstring muscles and really helping the back by activating energy flow through this bladder channel. And when you've had enough of that one, we're going to put that foot on the floor and we'll start with the other foot. And pointing and flexing, really pulling the little toes back. 
Remember not to slouch, keep lifting up nice and high. Breathing in and point, breathe out, flex. And if you're having trouble keeping um, your leg up in the air, feel free to have it on the floor. Point and then flex it. Here we go, a little bit slower. Still the same thing applies, little toes pull back. Just a couple more. And then both feet to the floor. Our next movement, we pick up our foot and we place it on our thigh. Okay, so this might not work for a lot of you. In that case, we will go back to warrior two position or whatever position uh, is best for you. It could be on a diagonal out to the side or maybe just the knee drops out. This is absolutely fine. But for those of you that can get the foot up onto uh, your leg, we're going to flex the foot and gently open the knee out and we'll go for a little spinal twist. So we're gonna lift up the chest, take your opposite hand to your knee, breathe in, lift and breathe out, twist around, holding onto the chair. Keep breathing, lifting and lengthening. You come back to centre and leaning forward. You can use your elbows, your hands, if you're in this position, leaning forward, this position, leaning forward, this position, leaning forward. For two more breaths, soften through your hips, your chin is poked in towards your chest, so the back of the neck is open and long. And let's release. Let's go to the other side. Flexing your foot. Take a breath. Other hand, opposite hand to the knee, other hand on your chair. Long, tall spine, breathe out, twist. Keep breathing. Enjoying, clearing out the cobwebs. Activating lots of beautiful flexibility through the spine. Bringing out tension from the muscles. And you can come back to center and folding forward. <sighs> Chin tucks in and we're still opening up the energy lines of the bladder channel. Our support, our stability, our grounding, our tree roots. Take another breath, and then we're gonna roll up. Undo your legs or bring your knees back to a front position. Opening out the knees, we're going to walk down. So it's another spinal roll, but we're really just going to try and stop when we've got our armpits in our knees. Your armpits might be nowhere near your knees. They might be elbows on the knees or hands on the knees or bent elbows near the knees. Wherever you get is fabulous. And breathe in, breathe out, drop the head, pull the chin into the throat. And while you're here, take really deep breaths into the back of the body. Right around the shoulders, the upper back, the middle back, the lower back. Keep checking the head soft. And then use your hands. Walk yourself like an elephant all the way back up. And you're squeezing your legs as you go, come up. We're going to go back down again two more times. Walk yourself down. 
Shift your hips, relax. Breathe into the back of the body. And then we start to squeeze and walk all the way up our legs. We're going to do it one more time. Walking back down. Head check, shoulders check, upper back, breathe, mid back, breathe, lower back, breathe. And then walk, squeezing each place that you're gripping. Come all the way back, and I want you to slump back in your chair. Ah, good stuff. All right, takes a lot of effort to let go of tension, especially from our back. We hold so much, we walk around with so much past and future worries on our shoulders, on our back. And it's a great practice to keep relaxing and releasing those muscles, to let go of any of those past memories or future concerns. So we can live uh, very freely in the present. Right now, there is no problem. Right now, take a big breath in. Breathe out. <sighs> Wonderful. When you're ready, we're just going to finish with a little um, massage or rubbing into the lumbar and the sacrum. So flat hands, you're going to rub. And you can do one hand if it's difficult to get two hands around. Just warming up that lower back area. And like you're making a fire. You can do two, but if one's fine. And you're rubbing into that uh, beautiful kidney diagnostic area, warming them up. Lots of courage. It's where our fear is kept or held. And we want to just kind of warm that up and get some blood flowing in this area. Keep rubbing down into the sacrum. That's that bony plate. And this area is governed by the bladder channel. And this is where we uh, can feel very safe and supported. So let's bring some warmth here. Lovely. And then we're going to rub into the hips, down the sacrum, down the back of the hips, and then relax the arms. And just take the arms for a bit of a walk, a bit of a shake out. Take a big breath. Ah, breathe it out. Beautiful. We're going to do four rounds of four squared breath. The four squared breath is a great one for keeping calm and uh, really great if you want to try and fall asleep at night. And uh, it's a very easy one. So we're counting for the count of four to breathe in. We're holding our breath for four. We're breathing out for four. And we're holding all the breath out for four. So everything's four. I'll count you three. So close your eyes. Feel free to sit back into your chair and get really comfortable if you want to just relax everything. And take a big inhale for the count of one, two, three, four. Hold the breath. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Hold all the breath out now for one, two, three. Four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold it out for one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, Four, exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold it all out for one, two, three, four. Last round, inhale, one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold it out for one, two, three, and four. Take a long breath in together. Breathe in and out. Gently opening the eyes. 
um, to a nice tall seat. Arms down by your sides. Breathe in, lift all the way up. Gaze up to your thumbs. Press the palms together and come to the heart centre. Smile. Lower the head. Thank you everyone for joining me today. Keep practicing to keep relaxing your back and I'll see you next time.